all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bella Entertainment and HD Nets Broadway Boxing. Presented by Mohegan Sun from the beautiful Mohegan Sun Arena right here in Uncasville, Connecticut. Tonight's fights are promoted by the Bella Entertainment, sponsored by Turner Construction and HBO Sports. This bout is sanctioned by the Mohegan Tribal Department Athletic Regulations. The chairman is Mark Brown. This bout is the eliminator for the number two ranking in the IBF's junior lightweight rankings. IBF supervisor in attendance is Daryl Peoples. The three judges for this bout, Donald Trello, Glenn Feldman, and Dr. Clark Sammartino. The referee is Michael Ortega. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of junior lightweight boxing. In the blue corner, wearing red with white trim, weighing in at 129 and a half pounds, a pro record of 20 wins, only two losses, one draw, nine wins by way of knockout from Left Rack City, Queens. He is Tiger Martinez. And in the red corner, wearing multicolored trunks, Weighing in at a ready 129 and a quarter pounds. A pro record of 24 wins. Only two losses, one draw. 21 wins by way of knockout. Reigning from Jacksonville, Florida. He is Nate the Galaxy Warrior Campbell. Uh, gentlemen, I want a good, clean fight. Run over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up and come out fighting. Mike Ortega right. with some last-minute instructions. Okay. He's the third man in the ring. As Tiger Martinez prepares to take on Nate Campbell in the rematch. Who do you like in this fight, Brian? Well, Nate Campbell has been in the training camp for about two and a half months. What's that? The first round would tell me the Fuck. tell of the fight. Campbell quickly out of his corner, lands a right hand. Campbell working fast. Martinez trying to circle. Just Nate Campbell's a great body puncher. I don't expect that to be that easy to do in this fight because Tiger moves quite a bit. He's not going to engage Campbell on the inside. But I'll tell you what, just looking at their bodies, to me it looks like Campbell's the bigger fighter. But the thing here, Nate is applying nice pressure. He's working a jab and he's also throwing body shots. Martinez wedged in the corner and Campbell throwing. A combination of the body. There's a right hook to the body. Followed by an uppercut. Now he left hooks the body. No answer from Tiger Martinez. Yeah, Tiger doesn't want to be on the inside with Campbell. I think he's a little confused that Nate started a little too fast for him. Right. The back, I see it. And Tiger complained quite a bit Keep about up, butts okay? Keep it up. because Tiger cut Stay there. Stay there. Watch over his left eye in that fight Watch. badly. He said he couldn't see Campbell the whole second half of the fight, and that's why he slumped in rounds uh, five through ten in that fight. Beautiful body work by Nate let Campbell. Him out, let him out. Let's go. As Tiger Martinez Tiger. holds on. All right, watch the hold. The hold. Nate is not allowing Tiger to get in any comfort zone. First fight, Tiger was able to get a little comfort zone early on in the fight. It's not the case here. Put your in there. Break. Fox. Martinez keeps his hands at his waist. Nate Campbell is like Punches a runaway in train in the Let first round. Nothing right. stopping him from getting in. And when you're fighting an aggressive fighter like a Nate Campbell, and you are a boxer, you want to move and pivot, what should you do? Well, quite honestly, you don't want to move that much when a guy's coming that fast with you. Because a guy can move faster coming forward than you can move him backwards. But you want to throw stiff punches, make him feel every punch coming in. And that may slow him up in a couple of rounds. 
but you don't want to move that much. Stick jab, they can run into everything. Let him go, let him go. And I'll tell you what's happening right now. Let him go. Tiger Martinez is trying to hold, and Cambo won't let him, especially when Tiger is back to the ropes that Martinez was getting pushed off and getting pounded to the body. This is a very impressive high energy first round for Campbell. So obviously Frank, Frank. Campbell uh, has right there, noticed right there. that Martinez twice, refuses to twice. fight twice. inside and take a war. Wow, that's Campbell about early in the fight. throwing low punches. And that's big, Gus. It's an early warning. That early can cause Over point there. deduction. Oh, you got him way low, okay? Let's and go. Keep him up. Tiger Martinez answers right back, corner. Yeah, I noticed that. That's, right, uh, guys, let's go. Let's keep those well, you know, John up. David Jackson at one point of his career was trained by Emmanuel Stewart. And Emmanuel Stewart doing a little move right oh! oh! And Campbell drops Martinez with a straight oh! right hand. Five, and Tiger is in six, trouble. Seven. That's it. We're going to stop it. Come to me. Get Tiger to Martinez go. trying to shake it off. Continue? What 20 fun? seconds into the second round. Campbell putting on all the pressure. Martinez covering up. Campbell, can he finish it? Martinez goes down again. Smart by, smart by Nate. The first round, he attacked hey, the body. Up. Let me see something to me. All right, let's do something. Here's Campbell walking in. Left hook catches Martinez as he holds on. Break, 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 break. Let him out, let him out. Step back, step back, step back. Back. A lot of time remaining in this round. Big right hand by Campbell. A left hook. Sends Martinez back to the ropes. Martinez trying to put low. up a low blow. Go over there. Very low. Time, time. Stay right there. One point. Low blow. Wow. One point. What a break. Low point. Low blow. The Tiger Martinez so early for a deduction from Campbell. Okay, and Martinez might have been stopped in. there. He and bought himself 15 seconds. Campbell still chopping at him. He's got punches up. Keep him up. Now Martinez coming back. He's still not too clear though. But I like what Nate did. The first time he attacked the body, the start of the second I came out for a headshot. Oh, a big right hook by Campbell. And Martinez right, somehow right, right, stays right. on his oh, feet. Oh, watch your head coming in, watch your head. A minute remaining in the second round. Legs not too steady. Not at all. Yeah, and down. Martinez falls no down again, no, no knockdown. Down. No knockdown. No knockdown, no knockdown. Hey, let's go. Less than a minute, he has to survive this round. Get back to the corner, get some water on your head. Watch him, you better keep him up, I'm telling you. Hey! Step back. Step back. It's like dual themes now to this fight. The fact that Martinez is so hurt and the fact that Campbell's digging himself oh, a hole. Oh, and another right hand puts Ooh. Martinez down. Four, and he'll take five, an eight count. Six, seven. Hey, come here, come to me. Come to me. You all right? Put your hands up. Let's go. Do something. Campbell, loading up. Keep him up, keep him up, keep those punches up. He cannot be saved by the bell. Martinez is wobbly and somehow makes it out of the rough. And here comes Nate. And that's a rule I really like, Gus. The extension of the one-minute rest period to let the doctor have a good look at the fight. Come on, right? Let him out. Okay. Listen, stop the holding, all right? You're I'm right, Steve. Because too often right the doctor step in during a minute. He doesn't give the corner, you know, <coughs> the proper minute to, to instruct the fighter. Exactly, especially when the fighter's cut. Keep those punches up. Keep them up. Okay, this is it, guys. Right. Martinez hitting Campbell low. Ortega makes him continue. Right. Let him out. Let him out. Uh, well, you know, referees sometimes dig holes for themselves by war issuing uh, formal warnings early in a fight. You can't keep warning a guy. You have to start taking points away. Ortega's already done that to Campbell, and we're only in round three. But, you know, Tiger should have expected a fight like this. He should have expected Nate to come out and be more aggressive. He should have trained for that. You're holding. Okay, let's go. And regarding the deductions, we saw that recently in the uh, Rocky Wilder Zahir Rahim fight, where the referee no, no, backed no, no, himself no, no, no. into a corner. Another oh, low yeah. blow here. And now, 
Martinez will have. That time. That's the second one. Next, I'm gonna take a point. You understand? Well, he I'm will not a have point. a point Stay taken right away. That's the second time he's hit. Don't gamble tell low. Me. I told Stern him. one and no. I'm gonna take a point next time. You, you ready? Box. All right. At least they're on even ground now. Nowhere to run for Tiger Martinez. See, that's a mistake he's making. I feel. Get some respect. Stand right. there Let with him Nate up. and get Let some respect. Step, step, step back. If you keep moving back, he's going to come keep moving forward. Wait, him out. Martinez doing a lot of holding. He's trying to get his head clear. I'm sure he's still a little foggy after being knocked down in the second round. Campbell shoe shining with Martinez on the ropes. Let him go. Let him go. Let's see how uh, how much patience Ortega has for Martinez is holding. Right. Go, go over there. Right. Although Nate Stop is holding. a lot of power. I'm take the point next time, okay? You're holding. Stop Stop one for holding. Yeah, there you go. Here's Campbell again. Cutting off the ring. He's got Martinez in the corner. Chopping oh, what, right what? hand. Step back. No, 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 no. All right. By Campbell. Martinez trying to dance his head clear. Watch your head inside. Watch your head. Watch your head. And look at the focus so of Nate down. Campbell Let's tonight go. compared to when he dropped his hands and got KO'd in a real dumb move against Robbie Feeden in his last fight. Total focus here. He's not letting up at all. A clear low blow. Yep. Good by call. Martinez, one and one point will be taken one away. One point. Low blow. His legs still are not blow. steady, though. All right? You got to keep him up. I have to disqualify you. Let's go. All right? Both of you, keep your hands up. Martinez in trouble. Action from round three. Keep it clean. Martinez has spent a lot of time on the ropes, and notice how Campbell mixes his punches. He started with the right upstairs and then brought it downstairs. Very effective. Campbell. That's a low blow by him. Martinez there. Ortega lets it go. Right. Keep him up. Campbell has landed. More punches, 77, than Martinez has thrown, only 70. Wow. And the total punches through three rounds. Another low blow by Martinez, and another point taken away. One point, low blow. Okay, that's twice already. Next time, you're going to get disqualified. That's two times for low blow. Stay right there. You all right? Let's go. All right, here comes Nate Campbell. And a big right hand by Campbell, getting through the guard of Tiger Martinez. As Martinez continues to back up. Gus, it's pretty clear Tiger Martinez has no answer right now for Nate Campbell. And you know what? Very easy to see him losing his focus and punching low again. Not that he's intentionally trying to get knocked out, but he may not have the discipline to and the focus to stay and do what he needs to do to keep fighting. There it is. There That's you it. go. This is fight is it? over. And I know Ortega does not want to call it, but he has to. This fight That's has it. come to an end. Fight. Courtesy of three low blows by Tiger Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, referee, referee Mike Ortega calls the fight at 150 of the fourth round. The winner by disqualification, and now the number two ranked IBF, IBF, I should say, junior lightweight in the world, Nate, the Galaxy Warrior, Ken.